During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about corn reproduction. This actually started, I was just telling Darren, my daughter, my 15-year-old daughter, was asking a little about corn, and I was more than happy to explain to her what's going on with that corn plant. At this reproduction stage, it starts with tassel. You'll see the tassels coming out above. That's what got her curiosity. Hey, what are those things on top of the corn plant? Well, you'll kind of see the tassels first, Brian, but you also see the silks. So sometimes you may see those silks emerging just a little bit ahead of the tassels. So there's two things that work together. With the tassel, that's going to have the pollen, and that's thought of as the male portion of the plant. The silks are coming out the end of the ear. That's thought of as the female portion of the plant. And as that tassel sheds pollen, the pollen's going to land anywhere on those silks, and that's going to fertilize each one of those silks. The interesting thing here with these silks is every silk is connected to where a kernel will be on that ear. So there are going to be lots of silks that are hanging out the end. Now once the kernel gets pollinated, then that silk will detach itself. So eventually what we get to is what we call the brown silk stage because all those silks have detached themselves because all the kernels are pollinated. Once they're detached, well they're not hooked up to the plant, they're going to die and that's why they turn brown. Once we've got that process has happened, we've got blisters, so we've got those little kernels will just start to bubble up just a little bit and start to fill up with moisture and with nutrients. That's going to be the first stage that we'll see happen after the brown silk. Yeah, and honestly, I don't even pay all that much attention after that point to, okay, what's the name of this stage or that stage? But what ends up happening not, is Brian? that what ends up happening is that kernel gets a lot bigger, fills itself with nutrients, and then you get two stages like for example, the milk stage or dough stage. Yeah, okay, it's the so the milk stage and the dough <laughs> stage, and what's happening is we're accumulating a lot more moisture in there. Then as the dry matter accumulation starts, farmers will see we're getting closer to harvest and then yep. we'll see what's called dent stage, which I find very interesting that the kernel that was full of moisture and nutrients, uh, now a lot of that moisture is going away and the end of the kernel will dent in a little bit. Now if you can pack enough nutrients in the kernel, it doesn't have to necessarily dent, uh, but that kernel is basically getting drier and drier. It's more dry matter in there and less moisture. Yep, and so at that point, if you look closely on the kernel, you can actually see where what we call the milk line is, what part of that kernel is hard and what part of that kernel still needs to mature yet. And ultimately, we get to what's called black layer. What happens there is if we can peel that kernel back off the ear, you can see there's black right at the end. And Basically, that the little umbilical cord from the cob to that kernel is, is now severed because it does, it's not needed anymore. So that turns black and that's what black layer is. And at that point, we're still, what, 35% moisture in the kernel? Yep, roughly. And so for farmers to, to harvest that grain, they wanna see that moisture down even a little bit lower. So farmers will leave it in the field until it's down to 20 or 25%, in some cases a little drier, depending on where you're at then at that point they can harvest that kernel. So once again, with corn reproduction, it all starts with tassel, it's going to end with black layer, and then eventually what we say is dry down after it's fully mature. But the reason why we wanted to talk about this today is if you're a non-farmer, you may have wondered, well, how does this process all happen and why are those tassels there and what's going on with the silks? We just thought we would explain that today. Well, one other thing we will explain later in the show is how to stop our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? <laughs> 